So it's a raw operation I'm using with this hand. I should have left it there and I would have had to change anything. <laughs> uh, try to make things clear sometimes. Alright. And before we close the eye loop, we need the output. So output. So, let's figure out where we're going to put it. We're going to put it two rows below the A finishes. What's the last row of the A matrix? A and N fix it row N plus 1. So, here is row N plus 1. What row do I want to use? rows below and plus three. And I place the role of column here, okay? So time is come left to J. Well, that makes a difference. But if I on paper I wrote with that. So we go back to the program. We want to put cells. row n plus 3, and now i is going to be the column what? <coughs> I want the first column, here was j plus 5, I want to be i plus 5. i plays the role of j now. Okay? Since I use i in the variable here, i plays the role of j, so it has to be i plus 5. I plus 5 equals C transpose. Did we create any new variables? DXI. Yeah, needlessly I created DXI. So we need to close the loop. Let's not forget to close the loop. So we need the next time. Don't forget to close it. Next time. That completes the C transpose code, but we need to declare the DXI introduced needlessly. Well, it makes agreement with the previous one. Good in the program. Right here. Let's add comma DXI. And that's all there is to it, guys. We just finished the only program we're doing in this class. <laughs> <laughs> Save it. Run it. And it doesn't work. <laughs> and 16 0 is the correct answer if you oh, I forgot to put here. Sit down. Okay. 
Not a damn thing was there. <laughs> so that's our complete program for linear <laughs> Let me give you a seven minute second break and